now we are solving a problem based on continuous random variable problem based on continuous random variable the given problem is if a is a random variable has the probability density function f of x probability density function small f of x they are given here this is equal to for x greater than 0 2 e to the power of minus 2x for x less than or equal 0 0 then find the probability that it will be taken a value in first one between 1 and 3 and the second one is greater than 0 0.5 so here they are given density function now we have to find the probability from 1 to 3 and greater than 0 0.5 observe x greater than 0 given function the value of f of x for x greater than 0 is 2e power minus 2x x greater than 0 is nothing but 1 2 3 4 so on whatever it may be of course 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 for every real number here so x greater than 0 it doesn't take only integers it takes every value okay now so it is a continuous random variable example of for this function is belongs to continuous random variable now we have to solve the probability between 1 and 3 so the probability first problem is the probability that variate takes between 1 and 3 is given by we have probability of 1 less than r is equal to x less than r is equal to 3 now this is continuous random variable now we are doing here if it is discrete random variable simply we will write p of x is equal to 1 plus p of x is equal to 2 plus p of x is equal to 3 but here what you have to write here integral from 1 2 3 small f of x dx so this is equal to integral from 1 2 3 what is f of x value from 1 2 3 greater than 0 is nothing but it greater than 0 is nothing but for every positive value here what we have 1 2 3 only so for 1 2 3 also what is the function you have 2 e to the power of minus 2x into dx now we have to integrate this one this is equal to 2 times of e power minus 2x integration is e power minus 2x by minus 2 limits from 1 to 3 now this is equal to this are getting cancelled minus you will get now upper limit minus lower limit f of b minus f of a type e power minus 6x minus e to the power of minus 2 if you simplify it then you can say e power minus 2 minus e to the power of minus 6 e minus 6x is the value of probability of 1 less than r is equal to x less than r is equal to 3 now second second problem is what we have greater than 0 0.5 greater than 0 0.5 now probability of x greater than r equal to 0 0.5 so from the continuous random variable the definition what we can admit integral from 0 0.5 to vary here greater than 0 0.5 are the given limit here upper limit no upper limit if they are not given default is what we have infinite only okay now so into f of x dx this is equal to integral 0 0.5 to infinite you see for every x greater than 0 for x greater than 0 we have function is 2e power minus 2x but here you have 0 0.5 to infinite so this is also positive only now so what is our function now 2 e to the power of minus 2x into dx now if you simplify 2 is outside e power minus 2x integration is e power minus 2x by minus 2 limits from 0 0.5 to infinite now here you will have minus outside then e power minus infinite minus e power minus of 0 0.5 times of 2 times of 0 0.5 is 1 so e power minus infinity is e power infinity is infinite e power minus infinity is nothing but 1 by e power infinite so you will have 0 so 0 minus e inverse minus times so you will have here minus of minus plus so you will get here e inverse e inverse are 1 by e so probability of x greater than or equal 0 0.5 is 1 by e probability of uh, 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 is e, put to, e to the power of minus 2 minus e to the power of minus 6x next problem we have if the probability density of a random variable is given by f of x is equal to k into 1 minus x square for 0 less than x less than 1 and otherwise it is 0 okay here function is defined for every real number that is nothing but from minus infinite to infinite they are defined but and in minus infinite to infinite only from 0 to 1 in between 0 to 1 is the function value is k into 1 minus x square and the rest of the case is 0 now what we have to find you see find the value of k and the probability that a random variable having 
this probability density will have a value 1 between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and second one is greater than 0 0.5 we need to find out. Now given that f of x is equal to given that f of x is equal to k into 1 minus x square for 0 less than x less than 1 0 otherwise. Now find the value of k. First we need to find the value of k. How we can find out the value of k means if the probability function is given, probability is this function is a probability density function, then obviously we will have inf limits from minus infinite to infinite f of x dx is equal to 1. Then only you can say the given function is a probability density function. Already they are mentioned clearly the given function is a probability density function. Then we need to find the k value. Okay. So, from minus infinite to infinite, how the function they are defined, you see, function is they are defined 0 to 1 only. Okay. So, I can write this as minus infinite to 0 plus integral from 0 to 1 plus integral from 1 to infinite. Like this we need to write because the function is defined from 0 to 1 and the remaining is 0. But here you have total limit, limits from here minus infinite to infinite. Total real number system we have. So, you can write this is like dx, f of x dx, f of x dx. Now you observe at 0 to 1 we have, in between 0 to 1 we have k into 1 minus x square. Rest of case what you have? 0. So, integral 0 dx next plus integral 0 to 1. This is k into 1 minus x square dx plus integral from 1 to infinite 0 dx. This is minus infinite to 0. So, integral 0 limits, this is obviously what you will have? 0. This is also what? 0 only. Now, we have to solve this one only. Plus, k is outside. Now, one integration is x. 1 integration is x minus x square integration x cube by 3. Limits from 0 to 1. This value is how much actually? 1. You have to remember that. 1 is equal to this is. So, 1 is equal to k into upper limit if you substitute 1 minus 1 by 3 minus lower limit 0 minus 0. So, you will have k times of 1 minus 1 by 3 means 1 minus 1 by 3 means 2 by 3. So, 2k by 3 is equal to 1. That implies k is equal to how much? 3 by 2. k is equal to 3 by 2. Remember, so if the given function is the probability density function, if you want to find the k value, we have to use the total sum of the probability distribution is what? 1. From that, you can find out k value. Now, we have done k value. Na? Now, replace k value is here. Then, f of x will become 3 by 2 times of 1 minus x square for 0 less than x less than 1. 0 otherwise. So, I written here clearly. Now, we are solving the first problem in that. First, we are done k value. Na? So, it is the second one. Second one, what we have to find means the probability that the variate will take the value between 0 to 1. Nothing but probability, uh, sorry, point 0.1 to point 0.2. Nothing but probability of 0 0.1 is less than x less than 0 0.2. That is equal to integral from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 f of x dx. So, integral from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. What is f of x value in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2? 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Okay. So, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 is lies between 0 to 1 or not? Yes. So, what is the function now? 3 by 2 times of 1 minus x square. 3 by 2 times of 1 minus x square. Okay. Dx. Now, 3 by 2 times of 1 integration is x minus x square integration is x cube by 3. Limits from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. Now, upper limit minus lower limit. 3 by 2 times of upper limit 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 whole cube is 0 0.008 by 3. Now, minus lower limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. Lower limit is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 whole square means 0 0.001 by 3. Now, on simplifying here, 3 by 2 times of 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. This is LCM, 3 is LCM now, 0 0.008 minus 0 0.001 is 0 0.007. Now, 3 by 2 times of 0 0.1, 1 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ इयर थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ टू इज सिक्स सो द रिमेनिंग वन यू हैव सो थ्री 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 सो ऑन नाउ यू कैन से दिस इज थ्री बाई टू टाइम्स ऑफ ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग इयर डायरेक्टली आई एम राइटिंग जीरो पॉइंट टू नाइन सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट टू नाइन सिक्स सिंपली यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री राइट दिस इज द वैल्यू इन बिटवीन Uh, in between 0.1 and 0.2. In the previous problem, I wrote here probability of zero, probability one less than r is equal to x less than r is equal to three. I wrote here. Okay, I wrote in the previous problem. Here also you can write 0.1 less than r equal to x less than r equal to 0.2. But in between they are given clearly, so you are not taking the endpoints. Don't write a uh, less than r equal to less than r is equal to here. Even if you written r is equal to, you will take the integration same. Okay, not like a uh, Discrete random variable. This is continuous random variable only. So you will take the limits 0.1 to 0.2 only. Next, sec, third problem we have probability that the value will take the greater than 0.5. So probability of x greater than 0.5. That is limits from 0.5 integral from 0.5 to infinite f of x dx. That is Integral from 0.5, uh, sorry, 0.5 to function they are defined. Observe function they are defined in between 0 to 1, and uh, of course minus infinite to infinite they are defined. But in between 0 to 1 we have 3 by 2 times of 1 minus x square. Elsewhere it is 0. So we want from 0.1 to 1 only. 0.1 to 1 is here what we have. 3 by 2 times of 1 minus x square dx, and what about the 1 to infinite? The rest of 1 to infinity here, 0 dx. So 3 by 2 times of 1 integration is x minus x square integration is x cube by 3. Limits from 0.5 to 1. So 3 by 2 times of 3 by 2 times of upper limit minus lower limit. Here you see 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 0.5 minus 0.5 whole cube by 3. Okay, if you simplify this one directly, I am writing answer. This answer you will get as zero point three one two five. On simplifying, you will get zero point three one two five. So these are the problems. If suppose they are given directly function, we can we can find the value that is probability a less than r is equal to x less than b. Also probability for a less than x. And probability of x greater than r is equal to b, you can do. Suppose they are not defined function directly, then we need to find the constant k value. In that case, we have to use the total probability. Total probability is unity. From that, you can get k value. Later on, probability of a less than x less than b means we use the formula limits from a to b f of x dx. Like that only we we need to write. This is a less than x means a to x f of x dx. x greater than or equal to b means b to infinite like we need to write okay na thank you for watching this video